right, fellas. It's Maz. I'm here to uh, address your uh, fantasy football league. No one in particular. Uh, you know, but I, I got a few things I want to get off my chest about the uh, status of your league. So first of all, I look at the landscape of the league. And uh, if I'm going to choose the team that I think will win the championship uh, this year, I am going to go with the Baltimore Ravens. My understanding, by the way, is that you name your teams after real teams. So Chubb, Josh Allen, Diggs and Debo. I don't know if there's a better wide receiver duo in the league than those two. Uh, you know, the, the Buccaneers have Jefferson and Devontae Adams. I'm assuming that's, um, what's his name with Minnesota? Justin Jefferson. Uh, but I'll take Diggs and Debo at this point. Uh, but, you know, particularly given the passing game of Buffalo, that's just my two cents. I should tell you that in my league, I actually have Jefferson and Devontae Adams, but Diggs and Debo, pretty good. I'd also like to make a prediction. Uh, and uh, it's a little bit of a bold uh, prediction, but in the next three years, the Arizona Cardinals in the fantasy league will win a championship. They may be a couple of pieces away. But uh, I think a championship is on the horizon. Very much a, a realistic possibility. Uh, so, a couple of other things. I have to say I'm impressed with the Texans and the Dolphins both. Uh, the, the rosters those clubs have put together. Uh, over the last few years, I think you can see real progress in those teams. Uh, I think both of them have the talent to compete for a playoff spot. Uh, both teams have the talent and... Um, and the thing that every contender needs, which is good ownership. Uh, the Bengals and 49ers seem to be in a little bit of a uh, building period, but they have a couple of young, solid pieces to build around. Uh, the Steelers and uh, his uh, their owner, I was going to say his owner. <laughs> yeah, their owner, Thomas, <laughs> the tank engine. <laughs> anyway, uh, always seem to be competitive. Steelers, year in and year out, no surprise there. Uh, so even though his uh, Ridley, Calvin Ridley's out for the year due, a, due to a, what is a stupid suspension, frankly, I expect Pittsburgh to be in the playoff picture, which is more than I can say the real Steelers, but I expect them to be in the playoff picture uh, once again come the end of the year. So uh, uh, tip of the cap to the Steelers. Uh, the Vikings uh, and the Jets, I'm surprised they're both one and four. Uh, I understand it's a competitive league. And no easy games in this league, as Bill Parcells once said. But looking at their teams, I wouldn't be surprised if they run off three wins in a row at some point, get right back into the hunt for the playoffs. That would be, uh, you know, again, things can turn very, very quickly, and we know as we know in fantasy. For example, in my league, I'm in the middle of the pack in points. I'm 0-5 going into this week. I've lost four of my five, uh, five defeats by a combined 10 points. So, uh, needless to say, I'm winning in week six. I'm going to turn it around. I'm just using that as a comp for the, for, uh, for the rest of you. Uh, the Eagles, ton of receivers. Uh, deep team. I think they can get consistent production from the uh, tight end position. Sorry, I just peeked at the Cowboys-Eagles. Uh, and if Cook and Mixon really get going in the backfield, uh, that'll be a team you don't want to face in the postseason. That is your, uh, your typical scary uh, postseason teams. Now, uh, let's get to the Browns. <laughs> the Browns. Yeah, the Browns ever good at anything. Uh, so what's missing here? It rhymes with quarter pack. <laughs> so, yes, they need a quarterback, even with Cooper or Mariota. Uh, they can continue to rack up Ws. About that. It's a Cooper rush. Um, I think the Browns, if they had a real, uh, had they had an elite quarterback, could actually move into that top tier of teams. Maz's tiers. The top tier uh, teams in the league. The Titans and the Seahawks, both longtime owners, uh, both champions, have the experience and the rosters to continue to compete for first place uh, in the division. Uh, Kelsey is a tight end and fantasy is a, a huge advantage. Um, and I'm looking at, what is it, a trade from 2015 when DeMarco, DeMarco Murray was traded from the Bucks to the Seahawks. That's a steal. I'm assuming Travis Kelsey was traded. You guys are going to have to help me with that one. Who's the jackass who traded Cat Travis Kelsey? Anyway, let me let that go. Uh, the Raiders hit on uh, Chris Olave. Good pick. Uh, looking at the roster, clearly good at drafting. We'll see if and when Hopkins comes back, whether they can make a jump up in the division. 
Uh, to me, the Raiders have the firepower to do just that. Finally, last but not least, the wagon that is the Dallas Cowboys. I like the real Cowboys this year, by the way. Good defense. They're going to lose tonight to Philly. Um, but Cooper Cup, Keenan Allen, Derrick Henry, Jonathan Taylor, Mark Andrews, America's team. If you get all those players, was everyone else absent on draft night? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, Jonathan Taylor this week, when asked about uh, how he feels the team and being a Cowboy in general, said, I'm really happy to be here. I'm glad Nick traded for me. I know I speak for Mark Cooper and everyone else in that locker room. We all have one goal in mind, a championship. Now that, that right there, that's organizational symmetry. Synergy. Synergy is the word I'm looking for. Organizational synergy, and anyone will tell you, critical on the road to any championship. So, thank you for including me in your fantasy league this year, in this very small part. <laughs>